Afternoon, Jerry. How's it going? It's going great, Bassam. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, really good. Thanks very much. So you come into this, uh, the ISHRS Europe uh, live surgery workshop in Manchester. We're holding on June the 12th. Um, maybe you can tell us a little bit about what is it you're going to be demonstrating at the workshop for us? Sure. I was asked to demonstrate the Regenera technique with the FUT procedure. And I've been using this for about six years now, uh, both as a standalone treatment, uh, perhaps an alternative to PRP or exosome injections, as well as in combination with my strip FUT procedures. Uh, there are several studies showing that the product produced by the, using the device does concrete does contain both mesenchymal stem cells and hair follicle stem cells, uh, epidermal stem cells as well. So the idea being that we can introduce stem cells from the tissue and this will augment the healing process as well as provide some thickening to the non-transplanted miniaturizing hair. So when you inject the cells, are you injecting them in the recipient area as well as the surrounding areas rather than just the transplanted area? Correct. Yeah. So when I use it, I will inject both perhaps a non-transplanted area with thinning as well as the transplanted area as well. And you do have to be a little careful injecting after the grafting so that the grafts don't pop out but I will demonstrate that in the workshop. Sounds fantastic. So that's an important point because um, when using PRP, um, uh, a lot of people would inject the area after, before you make the site, so before you graft, but you're saying you inject the Regenera after you've placed the grafts? Correct. And two reasons for that. One is um, the technicians are saving the fat and any extra hair follicles, and that's you don't know what you have until the end of the case after you've already made sites and are placing the graph. So that's one reason. The second being, um, even in the past when I did PRP, I would usually wait till after the grafting because uh, while you're making sites, you might be injecting tumescent solution and you're manipulating the area. So my concern always that you were pushing out the PRP um, and that you weren't getting as potent you know, a local concentration than if you waited until the end of the case. Right, right. And are you injecting, at what level are you injecting? Are you injecting at the dermal level? Right. So when I'm injecting a non-transplanted area, I'm injecting dermal. And when I'm injecting the grafted area, I'm a little deeper. Uh, dermal injection is uh, going to most likely result in popping of the grafts. Whereas a little bit deeper with very slow, careful technique, you shouldn't disrupt the graphs. Great. Okay. So obviously. So, and, and also the idea being, I guess, that in the grafted area, the solution with all of the graft sites throughout the area will be able to penetrate into the graft site. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah. you'll, you'll get the, uh, the growth factors and stem cells uh, to you know, percolate up into the sites, even though you're sub Q. Right. Whereas with the uh, injecting the non-transplanted area, I want it in the dermal plane so that I can affect all layers of the follicle. And if I'm worried if I put it subcutaneous, uh, it's just going to basically uh, possibly contact disperse. with the bulb, but then disperse and flow away right. too quickly. Okay. So are you doing this routinely with all your strip FUT cases? Pretty much all of them. Okay. So what about FUE cases then? Uh, how so the idea with the FUE is you really don't get much fat to collect. Yeah. And that um, typically when I'm doing FUE, I'm using every graft I get. Mm. So I don't necessarily want to extract extra grafts and the more grafts, the better. But then I feel, you know, concerned about using up good donor hairs. Whereas when I do the strip, I almost always have some extra ones mm. that I'm not going to be using. So right. then 
I feel comfortable using those in the Regenera. So I have used Regenera with FUE, but it's just not something I do routinely. Right, because of the because of the mechanics and the circumstances yeah. of the of the grass. Wonderful. Right. Okay, uh, great. So um, whenever you we discuss this with uh, whenever I discuss this with the uh, good people at uh, Regenera, is I'm n never clear that they are being very clear about you know the exact mechanism of action of of the when he, when they use it non surgically. Um, is, is that clearer to us now? Do you think them? How, how does it rejuvenate? The well, I think, has? yeah, the idea would be exactly the same as PRP, exosome, stem cells. So what we're trying to introduce is a cocktail of growth factors around the hair follicle. And so the uh, Regenera uh, suspension that we get, so we get both adipocyte stem cells from the fat, as well as dermal stem cells from the follicle and keratinocyte stem cells, epidermal stem cells. And we know that these will secrete factors. And theoretically, those factors would be more potent and specific to thickening hair than what you get from PRP. But because same mechanism- more specific, Because more specific cells. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, for example, um, the hair follicle stem cells will secrete, sec secrete certain proteins called Wnt proteins, WNT, yeah. right? Uh, as far as I know, I don't know if that is even present in the platelet. Uh, don't think so. Release. Yeah. 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 Good one. Okay. Um, fantastic. So at the workshop then, uh, we're going to be demonstrating that. We've got one case of where we're doing FUT. So we look forward to demonstrating exactly how you marry that with that case. And um, we will probably demonstrate it with FUE. Uh, we can work on that or we can ask one of the other doctors to do it. Um, Regenera are one of these sponsors, so they will help us with all the equipment, et cetera. So uh, it should be a really, a really good educational uh, demonstration for our, for our attendees. Yeah, looking forward to it. Should be fun. Wonderful. Thank you, Jerry. All right. Thank you. Thank you.